A lack of routine will follow into bedtime. And now what we're seeing is the kids get up in the middle of the night to go into their mum and dad's bedroom. So what time do the kids normally go to bed? Eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We try for eight. That's their bedtime. We call it a soft eight. A soft eight. Yeah. So then what time would you say early hours in the morning you have company? Two or three. Two or three. So two yeah. or three, you feel a foot in your face. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. There you go. I've been kicked in the head so many times in the middle of the night. Oh, boy. It's tough enough when you're getting up in the middle of the night because you've got babies who constantly need to feed. But now mum and dad have got boys who are jumping into their bed as well. This family need to sleep. Bedtime, boys. Bedtime. Time to go to bed. To your bed. You know what? I can't find your pacifier because it's not where we asked you to leave it today. Do you know where one of your pacifiers is? First, mum and dad had to hunt high and low for Bo's pacifier, something I think a three-year-old shouldn't have anyway. <coughs> this is working out great. Damn, this is very odd. I don't see them. So if you don't remember where the passy is, that's it. You're out here hunting. Yeah, it's pretty much it's come to this before. I know, I know. I know that you want passy. I know that. Found one. Ah, the Achilles heel of bedtime. Once Bo got his pacifier, he went straight off to sleep. But then I saw Leo demanding more time for Mum. <laughs> and let's face it, we've still got two babies to deal with. You must chill. Okay? I'll be back soon to check on you. Wendy feels really guilty about leaving Leo alone, so she engages him. What she must do is set limits, leave the room, and not allow Leo to make her feel so bad. I love you. One more kiss, one more kiss. We can only hope for him to just finally, you know, fall off into oblivion. <laughs> you, mommy, come here. You're taking a long time. I have my hands full with so many children that I don't have, I don't, it's like I can't, I don't have time for all my children at once. You know, I have to pick. So we have a family here that have got no routine, little discipline, and not much sleep. So I'm gonna head off for the night and make sure that I come back with a good plan for mum and dad. Before I went home for the night, I wanted to tackle Bo's attachment with his pacifier. There's no need for him to have a pacifier. He has a blankie and it's an emotional crutch really for him. Oh. It's gonna be heartbreaking for me, I have to tell you. When she said that we're going to have to you know, break the habit of the pacifier, I had no idea what she was going to do. Bo, this envelope came from somebody very special, and her name is Penelope the Passy Fairy. OK, and when she sees that there are boys in the house that are very big boys, and they have passies, what she does is that she asks them, OK, Wait, to put their passies into the very special envelope and to post it so that she could give them to babies that would need them. No. And he kind of looked at me and I thought to myself, is he going to do this or not? I didn't know whether he was really going to pick up those passes. Look at you, Penelope's going to be so pleased. Seal that down nice and tightly. I was really excited that he was just really engulfed in this whole story. You gonna put it in the mailbox? When he took those pacifiers to the mailbox, I just felt very proud of him. He's growing up when he does that. Yes! It, it felt like we were in, in a storybook. And it's in the morning, you're gonna go to the mailbox and you're going to get at your very special own envelope. You know, it just goes to show you when you're really confident and you can bring a touch of magic into the situation, that they actually take that in their own stride and know that everything must be okay then. Make sure back in, ready? One, two, three, go! Hello! When I arrived the next day, I was curious to see how Bo had slept without his pacifier, so I asked Mum. How was he last night? Great. Yeah. Well, well imagine it was. We had a sad face, but then we went back to bed. It was a visit. Look at that. Yeah. Bo, have you been outside? Bo, Penelope the fairy's been here. Come have a look. 
And he went outside and he saw all the feathers and the glitter. He's like, oh, they're fairies. And they oh. see within the oh. oh my gosh. And when he opened up the mailbox and saw that parcel, his little face, he was so excited that he'd been left something. Here, I'll help you. Animals. There, you can go. Wow. Special animals. Animal. The fact that Joe was able to get him to part with those pacifiers, I, I bow down to Joe. I was pretty surprised that she was able to do it. 